Hey everybody, we are here today going to do a muffler rebuild. What happens with these mufflers, and I don't know if you can see, I've got my hat cam on, but you'll see it when I take it apart, but down through this hole here, there should be thousands of little like eighth inch holes or three sixteenths inch holes all in this inside tube. And then on the outside, there's some kind of fiberglass or I'm going to put stainless steel wool, uh, stainless steel wool uh, in there after I get it clean. But I'm going to drill all these holes out here first and take it apart. But anyway, all those holes are plugged. So this was probably on a two stroke uh, engine that put out a lot of soot and smoke and stuff and it clogged the the pour so it's pretty much just a pipe at this point in time it's not a uh, effective muffler and I'm gonna use it on my boat out now see if we can get it out there we go that felt better I don't know how far it's gonna go for some reason I put my pocket knife back in there. I could get a hammer and a screwdriver and kind of try to knock it off. But even that, I'm gonna this is gonna take a little bit of work here. Move all of this out. There's something in here. I'm gonna close this because I'm getting metal shavings all inside there. Something's in there and it's not letting me punch through. There we go. Now I punched through. See? Now it, now it came up. All right, okay. everybody. That's. We're back. So I went to the store, went to the mall, and I got me some stainless steel. Uh, these are just uh, scrubbing pot pads, but that's what I'm going to use to stuff inside of this muffler. I've got 10 of these, by the way, 10, not just two. Uh, I got rivets. Here, the correct size so I can rivet this back onto here, like that. I stopped by my stainless steel welder. I got a piece of uh, stainless steel pipe. This is 304 stainless steel, 304, so that's good, heavy duty, uh, ocean grade stuff. Uh, and it's the right length. This is just a piece of scrap he had, and it just so happens it fits exactly. It's actually longer than this is by about one and a half inches I'd say one and a quarter one and a half but that's okay because what it does it goes all the way in here and then the other end if you go this way it'll actually stick through here some because this will actually go all the way through so I'll probably stuff this with, with wool and then uh, that'll fit tight in there uh, I may have my welder do like a little tack weld in here just to keep it from sliding out because conceivably see it can't slide it can't move and it only barely rests on this thing here it barely fits on here like that it's not really you see it's not really tight it'll just come off so there's nothing really holding it in so I may have him tack weld this into here at some point the correct depth so that uh, everything works muy bien are very good in Spanish so what I'm doing now is I have to drill holes the good news is I bought a bunch of these Lotus uh, stainless steel uh, they're actually a high-speed steel cobalt mixture cobalt drill bit so what I've got to do because as you see this has a million holes I'm not going to drill a million holes my holes are about twice as big as these holes. This is a 3 16 uh, hole right here. And that's about a little less than an eighth. Uh, so I'm going to draw some lines on here. And uh, just, and then maybe some cross lines like that. And then drill on all those uh, cross lines. Anyway, marks. that's what I'm going to do now. So, so how can I draw? straight lines well, well we'll see we'll see if this technique works and I need to measure too so I can start here and just go like this and that's a pretty straight line it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line see about every three-eighths of an inch kind of using this to as a little 
guide That's here. About right. So now I need to draw lines, and the thing is too that this end I I don't need holes here, and I don't need holes from here to here, and from here to here roughly. So I'm going to measure kind of where I don't get need holes. This thing like here. Boom. But why waste my time, huh? Okay. So this thing lines up with this thing. We'll line these tubes up. This guy slides on here. And this isn't exactly round. It's been all mashed and stuff. But it will fit in here. You just gotta gotta screw it on. There it is. Like that. So basically, I'll put this all the way up to there. Line it up with the end. Put this all the way to here. Line him up with the end. Now, you see, I know where to put my holes. So roughly stop them here and stop them here. So between these two points, I can put holes. I don't want to start at the opposite end. Let me start here. I think this will be a better technique. Here. I'm going to have to hold this here and then I'm going to have to rotate it. Whoops. So it stays in the in the groove here. Yeah, see now I can see how far it is. The other one is kind of hiding how far it is. And again, like I said, this is not rocket science. This is just a muffler that we could care less how imperfect or perfect it, it is. But this simple technique like this and you can you can pretty much get it good enough for a muffler and this may be <laughs> more holes than I want to drill I don't know, this is this is a crap load of holes here but it's about the right amount we'll start okay and we already got these ones done so that's the cross hatch right there that's everything that I'm gonna drill and I like I said I'm only gonna drill half of that but we'll see I'll, I'll see how boring or tired or whatever I get after drilling a bunch of these we'll see how many I really drill and where they are so I'm going to start drilling and because it's not exciting I'm not going to have you guys watch me well I'll let you watch me drill one and I could use a guide like this so you put a hole through here let's try that put a hole through here to see this bamboo is curved see that folks curved I'm going to make you put a hole through here just the end and then set it there and then yeah, let me see what happens. Let's see if we can invent the right tool to this job. See, now I can see the crosshairs there, so I just put this on here. the ticket right there it did it see roughly opposite so half as many holes as I thought okay so anyway I got the technique down you see it it worked and I'm gonna do another thousand of these <laughs> however many that is I don't know if it's 180 or 95 or 287 or what but anyway I'm gonna start drilling these and we'll be back with more when I'm done. And then we can just assemble it. Because once I got these holes done, all it is is smacking it all back and riveting these guys in and done. And we'll be done back. Done deal. I mean, more. Rebuild your motorcycle muffler or whatever. Boat. This is for the boat. So uh, it was a motorcycle. I'm also going to try to get this black paint off here uh, if I can. That's like a heat resistant paint. And I don't know if I have to sand it off or what. But the... Uh, Stainless steel is polished here, so I'd like to keep the polished look, but maybe I can't. And I also have some silver paint, uh, heat resistant uh, silver spray paint that I could put on there if I wanted to do that. We'll see. Bye for so, now. Anyway, the, yeah, this is the stainless steel we're going to put on there. This is just a, a cleaning pad. And if you read it here, it says Zim stainless steel ball power scrubber. It makes it is made from stainless steel ball that won't rust. See that? Shred or splinter. 
and it says ideal for use on blah 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 pots and pans really but when but when you know you get these it looks like they're one one big thing but really they're a donut you see that you can just stretch it out so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to stretch this out slide it on the pipe and then slide everything in here hopefully that'll go well so that's that's the plan you, you can kind of pull this apart it, it's all springy see it's, you see it's like a spring you see it comes out and just pops right back it's very uh, springy and flexible and manageable I hope uh, e enough that when I put it on here and, and slide it in there it'll it'll do exactly the job I hope it does Hey everybody, well, this is the muffler dressing it up party. We already made the, uh, got the insides all set up, and I just touched that. Hopefully I didn't get any on my can, but anyway, this is the inside. It's got the stainless steel wool. Of course, there'll be more. It'll go all the way, you know, cover all the holes. And this, of course, goes inside of that for the muffler. Uh, that's the fiberglass we took out because fiberglass doesn't really work that good. It's cheap, so people use that. And it lasts sort of a long time, I don't know. But uh, anyway, so I'm getting this old uh, paint off of here. And I bought this uh, Bronco paint stripper. Uh, strips all kinds of paint. I bought it at Ace Hardware. You see it's 189 pesos for a half a liter. So, uh, pretty nasty stuff. Methyl cellulose. I got it on my skin. It burns the crap out of, of the meat. So, I'm wearing gloves. You don't get it on your skin, whatever you do. I just got a little bit on my skin just then. Yeah, paper towels to wipe it off. It said wait 20 minutes till it bubbles up. So, that's what I'm doing. It comes out like a gel, basically. I'll show you here. I poured it in this little uh, lid because I didn't really need that much, but you just kind of get on your brush and like here, it doesn't look like there's really much. So I'm going to glob a little bit more on if I can, but where it, it is globbed on, you can see, see, it just brushes off. So in a minute, it said 20 minutes, wait 20 minutes. So that's what I'm doing. I started it at 20 till 5 and it is now. 15 minutes it's five five till five so it's been in there 15 minutes doing these little small parts too so ultimately i will wipe it off with these paper towels get a bunch of them ready and of course my gloves and wipe it off and then uh, reapply if i need to in certain spots and then uh, the other one i got i got one more up for here that I'm going to do the steel wool number on. It's in pretty good shape. I put this one on the boat engine. It cut the sound in about half. So I'm adding that one. Hopefully it'll cut it in half again. That's a little shorter, but we'll see. It, with the number of holes and the and the steel wool, I don't know what the baffling uh, or muffling uh, efficiency is, but 
you'll see. This one, like I said, cut it in half, and this is longer. It's about four inches longer. And so, anyway, I'm going to drill these rivets out. This exact same setup as this one. Same parts where you rivet the ends on. And then there's a tube going between it, and then on the outside of the tube is uh, fiberglass. But again, I'm going to put steel wool because I think that's a better muffler, muffling material. Hopefully, the center piece is good. This is the old one here out of this one. But you can see it was already falling apart. And uh, fiberglass can come out once it gets like that. So... Anyway, I, you know, put it, replace it with the stainless steel. <clears throat> so we will continue on here. Wait another five minutes. I'll start wiping this off and we'll be back with more depainting, stripping, stripping the paint off of the muffler. The old, this old uh, heat resistant black paint, high temperature black paint. I've got some high temperature silver paint, but this is our ready uh, stainless steel, so I'm not worried about this. I believe this is aluminum here. This looks like aluminum. It looks like aluminum corrosion. I'll get a scotch bright and try to clean this up some. But that's aluminum. This is stainless. All stainless. This is all stainless. The ends of these are stainless here, but this outer pipe, you can even hear it. Sounds like al aluminum. That's stainless. This is stainless. I'm sure that the inner core is the same. This regular steel holy mesh like that rolled up and uh hopefully it's in one piece like i said so we will let this finish bubbling you can see it bubbling all up there it was all flat and smooth but it's starting to bubble so we'll be back with more from my paradise on battalion island get that paint off there bye for now hey everybody you didn't actually you guys actually missed out on this part here but i've got another muffler here this is one that was made in Thailand. You can see the Thai writing there. Well, that's upside down, but that's right side up. DBS. But this is an aluminum cylinder here. And I'm going to try to clean this up with some scotch bright uh, to make it look nice. And I may paint it silver. I have some high temperature silver paint. But basically, the core of this one was good. So see how this one's all messed up? And no good well this one's core was good so we was able to use that I didn't have to read do in anything we, we got the ends worked out and we got the proper length of the steel wool and now we're ready to slide it in you want to be cameraman okay, okay so but, but, but. This is Oni, the cameraman. He's very talented. He's actually uh, helped me uh, fix the ends of these so that, that this uh, little tube here on both ends will go in smoothly. He actually uh, hammered them out and got them perfect. So, so now, we're not, I'm not sure which end is which. Well, we might have to yeah, you can just kind of screw this on. See that? And oh, all the steel wool that we took out was this stuff here. It's all uh, totally soaked up with carbon and that, so it wasn't doing much good. We stuffed it in this thing with the other one. But yeah, this has got a lot more air holes and stuff, so it should flow better. Oh yeah. The other thing we have to do, we have to line all these holes up. See, like this one doesn't line up, so we got to twist it until we get the alignment right. So all these holes lined up properly. This is, I think that's up. So that is lined up. So Maybe that one. Looking like that's, that's the one. All right, so we can tap this bad boy in somehow. We gotta get him to tap in inside of here. better just a gentle little we call them love taps in the philippines wow 
little bit here. I'd call that perfection. That is lined up. This ratchet. This is the uh, rivet gun. And so you got to get the right size hole. So this one's too small. I know that. I already tried it yes, yesterday. So we take this one out. Try these if, these if that one's too big. These are smaller. These are the next size smaller here. And then we got to fit. That'll go in there, and then this has to go in here. So this, see, this one's too big, this one's too big, and this one's just right. We're going to take this one out. There we go. Put it in here. And you may have to pull your handle in some because it put, pulls those jaws back and then you can screw in your the one that's the right size. All right. Let me give it a shot here. And that's a little bit of wiggle room there, but we'll see. We'll start with this first one and see how it goes. You may have to work it down. Wow. That looks like a factory job there. Let's go to the other side so you don't get crooked. pull here. It works. Yeah, so you still own the bar to the company? Nah. Drilling. Huh? Drilling. Drilling wells? Bar to wells? Yeah. And what's the company name? Uh, Leaf Bar Drilling. No, no. This is Oni, and if you need a wash or well, what's a, the uh, company name? Uh, Leval Trading Drilling. How do you services. spell that? L E V A L. Okay, L E V A L, water drilling, and you deal deep, I mean deep wells? Uh, or do you deal 200 feet. 200 feet? Yeah. Okay, well, I know who I'm going to have drill my well. Okay. So he's in Consolation, Cebu. Yeah. So if you need a, a well, he is the man. <laughs> And he's also good at working on mufflers too. So if you got a muffler you need to get repaired, call him for that too. He does everything. He's a jack of all trades. Yeah. <laughs> Just your apprentice. <laughs> Is that one done? Yeah, it's done already. Right. And it's terrible. And it's, it's not wiggling. It's huh? like brand new. Wow. How much more fancy can you get than that? Okay, we're we're doing the lineup now. So it looks like these two holes. No, nope, not that one. See, that one's not uh, uh, line. So you keep twisting <laughs> until everything lines up. And these two are off, so we got to shift it again. Eventually, you'll get around to where everything lines up. Nope, not everything. Uh oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that. We're there. We got it. The other thing we got to do is inside of here, we got to get this tube this here to go inside of the and you can stick your finger in here and you can line it up if you need to that's what I'm do, doing and it's going lining up nicely and then I'm going to put the wooden, the wooden tapper on it and again be careful that it doesn't twist on on you the screen type. Maybe you have to fit the it fits. yeah we're in okay. we're good there we go. Oops. And this one's a little more loose, so you got a little wiggle room to get these lined up if you didn't tap it in perfect. But it's pretty much in perfect now. Yep. Anyway, that's it. Completely rebuilt. 
full of uh, stainless steel and voila we're good to go hey everybody so anyway i lost several of um, four out of the 10 videos that i made on my acaso camera were corrupted so we missed some of the steps that we actually took you know to get here but obviously this is the end result she's all polished uh buffed i i removed all that old paint with the uh this is bronco uh, paint remover stripper stuff right there and that's nasty these are gloves that you better use and just paint it on with the brush but don't get it on your hand because it'll burn you it's acid and then this is the second one that i did you can see this end's kind of shiny and nice there's a couple of dents there but uh, that's shiny now this part i haven't buffed out yet but i'm going to buff that next but i wanted to get you guys the video here before because i gotta work on my boat so it kind of interrupts some of my muffer projects and stuff but anyway yeah so it's all done uh this is again aluminum here so buffing that uh it comes out a little not as chromey looking as chromey as the uh stainless steel does stainless steel just looks beautiful it's all like chrome but it's not chrome it's stainless steel so it's it's not a plating it's a solid piece of stainless steel so anyway you can see if you just buff this with a little buffing wheel on an angle grinder with the buffing compound, I'm using the green buffing compound, and uh, and that does this. So I got to finish this, and then we're 100% done. All the insides are all uh, packed with uh, the stainless steel fiber. Again, this is the fiberglass, as you can see, it's just clogged with uh, carbon and soot, you know, from the mufflers. This is it, looking through the side there. So I took that's what came out of these so guys. Anyway, and so anyway, we're done, and we'll be back with more from my paradise on the tiny island. Fix your muffler. Bye for now.